Bumbly. In the heart of the vibrant woods of Ecos, where the sun dappled through the thick foliage and the flowers bloomed with colors of painter's palette, there lived a bear named Bumbly. Not just any bear, but the kindest you could ever meet, with a heart as full as his rounded belly. Bumbly's fur was like a warm embrace, and his eyes sparkled with the gentle wisdom of the woods. Each morning, Bumbly would stroll through the woods, offering bear hugs to any creatures in need of comfort. His hugs were said to melt away worries and sprout smiles, and his little house was a heaven of warmth and cheer. The woods were alive with the chatter of animals and the rustle of leaves, a testament of the harmony that Bumbly nurtured. But one day, a hush has fallen over, was replaced by a tense silence, and Bumbly's empathetic heart felt the shift. The woodland creatures were hiding, their hearts heavy, with a misunderstanding that had grown like a thicket between them. Bumbly, with his innate empathy, listened to each of their troubles, his large ears tuned to the language of the heart. He heard the grievances of the squirrels, the fears of the rabbits, and the anxieties of the birds, and with each story he offered not just his ear, but the comforting solace of his embrace. It was then that Bumbly knew what he had to do. With a voice as soothing as the whispering woods, he gathered the animals in a clearing, encouraging to share their feelings and listen to one another. As the sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of gold and pink, Bumbly led the conversation, his warmth drawing out the truth and knitting the torn fabric of their camaraderie. One by one the animals spoke, and more importantly, they listened. They saw past their fears and found understanding in their hearts. The rift that had once seemed so deep was now bridged by the paws of empathy and the bonds of shared stories. As the stars began to twinkle in the evening sky, the creatures of the woods of Ecos celebrated the restored friendship with a feast of berries, nuts and laughter. Bumbly's joy was as wide as his waistline, and his eyes twinkled with the satisfaction of a job well done. When the moon rose high, casting a silver glow over the woods, Bumbly ambled back to his cosy house. He settled in, a contented sigh escaping his lips as he reflected on the day's events. The woods were at peace once more, and the creatures united in friendship and understanding. And there, in the gentle embrace of night, Bumbly of the woods of Ecos fell asleep with a smile on his lips. He dreamt of the days to come, of laughter and life in the woods, and of the many hugs he would share. For in the heart of the woods there lived not just a bear, but the spirit of empathy, the warmth of home, and the power of a hug to heal. The End